Mark Morell. I'm the union president of the local employees. Well, the shut this Saturday is going to be the first uh, non-paycheck we're going to get from the shutdown that's run 21 days as, as of this point. Um, we have staff members concerned with uh, paying their health care premiums, uh, repaying TSP loans, uh, making car payments, not getting a paycheck going forward into next month and what that means to, to buy goods and groceries and making a choice between paying for gas at some point in time and coming to work. The, the agency is, is severely understaffed as it is. Uh, we're, we're practicing uh, a concept called augmentation where we're using secretaries, medical staff, uh, administrative staff to cover for normal positions uh, worked by correctional officers as it is. So the agency's already stretched pretty thin. Uh, the agency here at Otisville is at least 30% veteran. Uh, so not getting paid, uh, those veterans also aren't getting paid as well. You know, nobody, nobody likes to be used as political leverage, but at the end of the day, uh, we're here to do the job. We're here to incarcerate or to, to safely house inmates for the Bureau of Prisons, and we expect to get a paycheck for that service. So, we, you know, we, to not get paid uh, for the next couple of months is, is, is tough on everybody.